Hi everyone, it's Andy Tech with Check New Tech, and today I'm going to unbox some really cool tech for the kitchen. So if you like having salt and pepper but you prefer them fresh and you want to get something really cool, consider the Gravity Electric Salt and Pepper Mill. So I found this on Amazon and it had some pretty cool features. It actually has LED lights, it has a little meter where you could adjust the coarseness of your salt and pepper. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this and see what it's all about. So there's not a lot to assemble here, obviously, it's just a salt and pepper grinder, but here is where the LEDs are, so that's pretty cool. And then if you twist this, you could actually adjust the coarseness of your spice. It looks like here's the container where you put the spice in there, so I'm going to wa wash that before I use it. And then there should be an area for batteries, oh, there we go, you unlock this and you put six AAA batteries. A little bit excessive. Um, I wasn't expecting six AAA batteries. That's quite a bit. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put that aside here for now. And we're going to look at the other one. It's like there's some instructions in here on how to use it. I pretty much figured that out fairly quickly and I'm sure you will too. And then there's a second one just like it. So I'm going to go ahead and wash these, put some batteries in, and see what it's all about and then give you my final tech score on this. So before I go ahead and fill the salt and pepper shaker containers, I went ahead and installed the batteries in here. So I just unlocked it. I put six AAA batteries in here and you can see it actually works when I flip it over. Now all I have to do is fill the container with salt and pepper and I could start using these. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and fill these little containers that the salt and pepper shaker came with with some Himalayan pink salt that I bought, it's not included, obviously, and some Tala Cherry Peppercorn Whole Black Pepper. You could choose what kind of salt and what kind of pepper you want. That's the beauty of having these, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, so I went ahead and filled the salt and the pepper, and according to the instructions, you shouldn't fill them more than 80%, so I tried to go so as much as it could probably take without going excessively high with the amount because if you fill it with too much salt or pepper it actually would not work because this is the area where it goes in so that would get clogged fairly easily so I'm gonna go ahead and put these together and then we're gonna go ahead and try these out alright now it's time to see how well these work I'm gonna go ahead and turn this upside down and there you see salt coming out it looks like it's not all consistent with the coarseness. Maybe it's because I just started using it, but it looks like some parts of it is, are a little bit more coarse than the others. So let's try the pepper and see how that works. Okay, so similar with the pepper, I think maybe initially when you use it, it's a little bit more coarse on some parts of it, and uh, it got a little bit better with more usage, but I would say it's not as consistent, and I do see like pepper here, so that's another downside to this because there are no caps. You could actually see salt particles here. So if you flip it upside down, it's going to keep grinding more of it. So it would be hard to unclog this. There's no brush or anything for it. So I don't like that aspect of it. Um, I do like that it works really well in terms of crushing it, but for some reason they didn't include any caps on it. And just for dramatic effect, we could actually try doing this in the dark just to see the LED lights because you're eating in the dark so many days in the week that you're going to need the lights here to light up. <laughs> um, but it is cool to have so you can see exactly where your salt and pepper is going. Like I said, the only thing I didn't like about that was that there is no cap on this. So that's how these work. Alright, so I'm going to give you my final thoughts on the Gravity Electric Salt and Pepper Mill. And you could decide whether it's right for you. So some of the pros on this are it's super easy to use. I love the gravity option. All you do is turn it upside down and it just starts grinding and it works its magic. There's no button to press, there's nothing to do, um, it's effortless. It has a really cool LED blue light. I didn't think that would be cool because I was like it's kind of cheesy but I found out that it's neat because you could actually see where your salt flakes and your pepper flakes are going in your food so you could distribute it really well. Um, so it's nice to have. Um, also, it holds quite a bit. I thought this, this little container was small, but it holds quite a bit of uh, salt and pepper, and I don't feel like I'm going to have to refill those very often. 
and it does a great job of grinding it. At first I thought it was a little bit too coarse, but then I started using it a little bit more and I found out the consistency was getting better and you could adjust it on top. So it's even nice to have that adjustable feature. Now some of the negatives, this is a bit heavy. Um, you know, I know that's because it has a lot of batteries in it. Um, it's got some electrical design and it holds quite a bit of salt and pepper. So they are a little bit heavy on the hands. Um, so just have to get used to that. The other thing is, there's no cap for it, so I don't like the idea that salt and pepper flakes collect in here and then it's really hard to clean. And then there's also nothing to cover it with. So if you like, you know, I mean, not having any bugs or anything, you know, get into your <laughs> spices, they should have included some sort of cover. Also some crevice cleaning tool, maybe even a brush would have been nice for it. My last concern is that if these knock over in your cabinets, it may actually start you know, using the grind feature and it might just start, you know, throwing pepper and salt all over the place. So you have to be really careful not to knock these over. So that's another thing. The gravity option is cool, but there's no way to disable it either. So, you know, if it does get knocked over accidentally, you could have a disaster in your pantry. But based on all that, if you are someone like me who likes fresh salt and fresh pepper and you don't want to manually grind it each time, this would make cooking a heck of a lot easier. So for those reasons, I'm gonna give this a final tech score of 5.9. So I hope that helps you decide whether the electric gravity pepper and salt mill are right for you. If you like watching these videos, please hit the like button as well as subscribe to my channel where you can get notifications for every new video I add. Thank you once again for watching this video. This is Andy Tech signing out. Check, check, check.